Hello guys, good evening. You are welcome to my YouTube channel, the SPC Tutorials. As you all know, my name is Tito Joseph. Please, as you are watching this video, endeavor to subscribe, like, share, and comment. Tonight, we shall be discussing Physics 111, a topic called Vibration, that is Chapter 1. Now, in this topic, we are going to be knowing the meaning of period, frequency, and what? Amplitude, and how their formulas are used to tackle certain questions. Like I said online, my major focus is on the exercises, okay? I'm not solving the examples they've solved already. I'll focus on the on the exercises you have on your textbook. Let us get started. We have number one here called what? Period. Period, the S end of period is what? Seconds. Period is measured in what? Seconds. And it's not easy word, calculator word, T. It is denoted using what? Capital letter C. Now, the period of a body or the period of a wave particle or the period of an object, it means the time taken for a body or of that body to make a complete oscillation, okay? It is the time taken for a body to make what? A complete oscillation. Now, N, means, N here represents what? Number of oscillations. I said period means the time taken for a body or for a wave particle to make what one complete what oscillation that is what and that is what period period is also given as what two pi over lambda lambda here we means what wavelength it means what wavelength and it's measured in what meters all right that is lambda now period is also given as what two pi over what w now W here means what? Uh, amplitude, amplitude, and it's measured the what? Meters, all right? The, this, okay, please, W means what? Angular velocity, please. Oh, it means what? Angular velocity, angular velocity, angular velocity, okay? It means angular what? Velocity, take note of that. And I've given you all you need to know concerning what period, okay? Now, period of a wave particle is also given as period of oscillation of a wave particle is also given as what? 2 pi, the square root of L over what? G. All right? The period is also given as what? 2 pi, the square root L over what? G. L here means what? The length. All right? The J here means what? The gravity. G is what? The gravity. Take note of that. Then we also have what? Amplitude. The amplitude of a wavelength means the maximum displacement of a wave particle from its what? Equilibrium point. All right? It is the maximum displacement of a wave particle from its what? Maximum point. That is what? Amplitude. All right? And it is given as B1 squared plus B2 squared. Now B1, B2 are called what? Constant equation or equation what? Constant. Alright? Take note of that. Amplitude is given as what? B1, B2. Alright? Take note of that. It is very important. Now this frequency, you also have frequency. Frequency means the number of oscillations a body covers per unit what? Time. It means what? The number of oscillations that a body covers in one second or per unit word time it means that number of oscillations over what time all right i told us that n denote what numbers of what oscillations okay and time t means what time do not forget that it is very, very important now the s i of frequency is what has h z all right the s i unit of frequency is what has now, this, this unit has was named after, after the physicist called what? Heinrich Hess. Heinrich Hess. All right? That is Hen... Okay. I just spelled it again. Heinrich Hess. Oh, uh, Heinrich Hess. Yeah. So, you see... The unit was named after his name. So frequency is measured in what? Hertz. Hertz what? Z. Okay, please take note of that. 
Now I wrote out something. Look at what I did here. Let me do something right now. Now I gave us that c is equals two pi. I gave us that two that is period is equals what two pi to the square root of what l over what g. All right, the square root of l over g. Now from this equation, we can see that c is what directly proportional to what l. All right, but if I should eliminate this sign, uh, we have to bring a constant k, which is what root what l. Is that not correct? So if I divide both sides by root l as the square root of l, I'll be having what k is equals c one over l one equals what c two over what L2. Alright, it is very, very important. Alright, T1 means what? Initial period. T2 means what? Final period. L2 means what? Initial length. And L2 means what? Final length. Take note of that. And then from this same equation, from this same equation, we can also say that C is inverse proportional to what? G. Alright? We can also say that C is inverse proportional to what? G. Don't forget square root because this big root is affecting this. That is in both of them. Now, from here, I'll make here my k. Then this idiot we have to leave. All right, from here, if I cross multiply, I'll be having my k to be what? C, then the square root of what? G. Therefore, I'll say t1 root, that is square root g1 equals what? c2, the square root of what? g2. Can see that very very important don't forget these formulas okay now from this same equation if i should square both sides here if i should square both sides it means it becomes what t squared equals this will affect what we have here it becomes what four pi squared i hope you believe that now this two we cancel like this and you now have two two. So two times two you have four. Then pi squared you have it to be what? Pi squared. You have what? Open brackets L over what? G. If I should open the brackets, I'll be having okay. If I should cross multiply this over one, if I should cross multiply, I'll have this times this what? G T squared equals this times this four pi squared root L. 4 pi squared L. Mm -hmm. But I want to make I want to make L my subject formula. What will I do? I'll divide both sides by what? 4 pi squared. 4 pi squared. So it means that this will go into this. And now that L is equals what? G T squared over what? 4 pi squared. Alright, so also take note of this. You see, I've been able to deduce three different formulas from only one expression which was what this we have one we have two and we have what three it is very very important take note of that mm? um please take notes take note that v max that is i'll rub up this one please Do not also forget that frequency can also be given as what? Um, 2 pi over, that is, period can also, I don't know if I gave us one just now. I think I did, I did. Then, frequency can also can be given as W over what? 2 pi. If I should make uh, W the subject formula, I'll be having what? W equals what? 2 pi f. Alright? I told us that W means what? Angular velocity. Now, V max. I have my maximum velocity as angular velocity times what? Amplitude. Angular velocity times what? Amplitude. Now, from here, I have my angular velocity as what? 2 pi f. So, I can have substitute. It means that V max is equals what? Uh, that is equals 2 pi f then you have what my amplitude all right so this is what v 
max that is maximum what velocity now what about maximum acceleration it's giving us what pi squared then a it's giving us what pi squared then you have what a don't forget that other formulas that are also important in simple harmonic motion are you have x okay yes also take note that angular velocity is equals what the square root of k over what m all right the square root of what k over m k means what first constant and m is what mass first constant and what mass in simple harmonic motion you also have that f is equals what kx f is a force and k is a first constant and x is what the the, the displacement okay now from what we have now it means that food is almost what ready so other formulas that are also important in simple harmonic motion are i can also give it to you as x which is in c is equals what b1 cos wc of course i've given up, i know i told us the meaning of w which is what uh, angular velocity plus b2 sine w what c all right i can also give, give us as t equals what a cos open bracket wc plus what phase angle all right plus what phase angle now this phase angle that is phase angle difference phase angle difference now from here to get the phase angle difference it is really the tan inverse of b2 over what b1 to get the value of this phase difference you do the the tan you do the tan inverse of b2 over what b1 okay please take note of that it is very very important so kinetic energy in simple harmonic motion kinetic energy in simple harmonic motion we have k is equals half m v squared we also have that k, that is k e don't forget all right we also have it to be one over two m angular squared then amplitude root squared all right so these are the formulas you are going to be needing we are going to be making use of in simple harmonic motion all right so i've given us all the formulas that we need to solve questions on simple harmonic motion so we have on the board about a question that we are to solve the question says a particle moving with simple harmonic motion has velocities four centimeter per second and three centimeter per second all right please a question like this you have to use what the pythagoras theorem so you say velocity is equals what the square root of these two idiots that is three squared plus what four squared all right which means that velocity is equals what this is nine okay nine plus 16 you have what 25 so the square root of 25 is what five centimeter per waiting second per second that is what the velocity now we also ask to look for what the amplitude do not forget that I, what i told us i said amplitude is equals what b1 squared plus what b2 squared all right amplitude is equals the distance now i told our amplitude modes means what the maximum displacement of a wave particle from its equilibrium point it is measured in meters don't forget that okay what is okay and the distance we have this and this so it means we have three squared plus what four squared so amplitude we are going to be having this that is nine plus 16 we have what 25 so it means that amplitude is equals what five centimeters okay so which means the velocity is five centimeter per second and the amplitude is what five centimeter all right take note of that i think that is what they had there so that is the first question that you have as an exercise on your textbook okay so another question let's take another question please another question excuse me 
in me. All right. Excuse me. Now, okay, we have solved question number one. Now, the next question says, I don't know if I should just read it like that. Okay, it said a punch bag. A punch bag of mass 0 0.6 0 kg is struck so that so that it oscillates oscillate with simple harmonic motion simple harmonic motion to stop the oscillation the oscillation has a a frequency a frequency of what or 2.6 hertz a frequency of what 2.6 hertz and amplitude an amplitude of 0 0.5 meter okay what's what is a what is a the v max what is what the v max all right and b what is the maximum kinetic energy all right of the bag what is the maximum kinetic energy of the bag and c says what happens to the energy as the oscillations die away okay of course the answer is on the textbook so my my focus is on a and what b so let's solve this one together okay let's solve this very one together now to calculate our v max to calculate our v max i remember i gave you that so uh, v max is 2 pi f amplitude all right so v max is therefore 2 times 22 over 7 which will give us uh 3.143 frequency given from the question is what 2.6 hertz right that is 2.6 hertz then times amplitude is what 0 0.45 0 0.45 so you can simply solve it now you say 2 times 3.143 times 2.6 times 0 0.45 equals 7.35 is that what it got let me check. Yeah, they got zero point. He said that V max equals what? I think that's what they got. Yeah, V max is equals what? Uh, seven point uh, three five meter per second. That is per second. All right. So this is what the V max. Now B is what the maximum kinetic energy. The maximum kinetic energy do not forget i have it to be um kinetic energy now is equals what half mv squared half mv squared so on that note i'll have that ke is equals one over two times mass given from the question is what zero point where is it zero point six zero zero point six zero times V squared, we had it to be what? 7.35. So it's going to be 7.35 squared equals 54.0225. All right, so let's do it. 0 0.60 times 54.0225 equals 32.4. 135 divided by 2 equals 
So I have that kinetic energy is equals to what? 16.21 joules. No energy is equal to joules. But they had 17 here, so it's very close. So that is what you have it to be. Just okay. Now, what if they had asked us to look for uh, the maximum acceleration? Okay, let me put C. Maximum, maximum what? Acceleration. Of course, I believe you know what to do, right? So you therefore say W squared A, right? W squared A. So it means. I give that W is equals what? 2 pi f. Alright? 2 pi f. So everything here is. Where is it again? Okay, let me just solve it bit by bit. So W, which is the angular velocity, was 2 times 3.143 times what? Frequency, which is what? Uh, 2.6. 2.6. So let's multiply. We have 2 times 3.143 times 2.6 equals I'm having 16.3436 16.3436 therefore 16.3436 squared equals I'm having 2 2 that is 267.11 then times the amplitude times 0 0.45 equals I'm going to be having a max as 120.20 meter per second squared. So it means this this W. Okay, I got my W, which was this. Then you square it. As long as you square it, you have I think I think we had 256 just now. So 256 times the amplitude which is 0 0.5 all right we are going to be having 120.20 meter per second squared so that is it is very easy just follow it bit by bit okay the next question let me rub off this one i know you are enjoying it physics is very very interesting okay so just follow it step by step don't forget i said period means the time taken for a wave particle or for an object or for a body to make one complete uh, oscillation, okay? Do not forget that. And I said it, the maximum displacement of a wave particle from its equilibrium point is called what? Amplitude, okay? Amplitude. All right, so let's solve this question together. So we have solved question one and two. So number three. Number three. A, a light spiral spring in is loaded is loaded with a mass with a mass of five gram and extends and extends by 10 centimeter. What is the period? What is the period of small small vertical oscillations? What is the period of what small vertical oscillations if if the acceleration, if the acceleration due to if the acceleration due to gravity is chemical part, chemical thing, square. He said we are looking for what the period. What is the period? Do not forget that that period is equals what two pi the square root of what L over what G. So from the question, he said it extended. He, so this one is not to be considered because in period we don't have mass. So this 50 gram here is just there to confuse us. Okay, so we are not to touch it at all. Okay, so the length is given what 
10 centimeter. So you say 10 centimeter divided by 100 will be having 0 0.1 meter. So we have to convert to meter, okay? Then gravity is about 10 meter per second squared. Then food is ready. Therefore, 2 times pi is what? 22 divided by 7. And that will give 3.143 times the square root, the length now is what? 0 0.1 divided by what? 10. 0 0.1 divided by what? 10. Therefore, t is equals 2 times 2 times 3.143 equals 6 point, I'll have 6.286. And we have 6.286 times this divided by this, I'm going to be having 0 0.01. Alright, I'm going to be having 0 0.01. So T is equals 6.286. The square root of 0 0.01 is what? 0 0.1. So times 0 0.1. So times 0 0.1 equals. I'll have that period is equals what? 0 0.6 theory approximately. All right, by second, do not forget that it is very easy. It is very easy, just follow it step by step. The length was given in centimeter, you are not to calculate in centimeter. I trust you, neighbor. They'll calculate in centimeter and they'll give you the option as what a option a. Don't be too quick. All right, look at the options, and from the options, you know when to convert and when not to what convert. Okay. Please, most of the times we calculate what meters and not in centimeters. So the period is what 0 0.63 second. That is what they got here. So that is what they got here. So the next question, which is number four, I believe it's going well. I know you are enjoying it. So please, if you are watching this video and you have refused to subscribe, you will you will prosper. I beg subscribe, man. Eh? I beg, no, no, I beg now, I beg, I beg. <laughs> Just try to subscribe, eh? Subscribe, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hmm? You know, ma, 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 I need to eat now, I beg. Just, just subscribe, eh? I know not me by yourself, not me get, not me get the money to buy time, but just, just click subscribe, eh? And so the Lord will bless you, eh? So number four, how much would the time keeping? Should I put on this one? Try to start safe. Eh? It don't make sense. How much? So the question says, how much? How much would would the time keeping? How much would the time keeping of a pendulum? Of a pendulum clock to be affected to be affected by to be affected by taking it taking it to the moon all right excuse me taking it to to the moon yes question mark how much to the moon hmm? Gravity and what? This one can't feel like it, but gravity on gravity on the moon is one point six meter per second squared compared with compared with ten meter per second squared on the earth all right so what they're asking us is we should look for the ratio of the period of uh, moon to what earth all right so i gave us a formula when i was uh, explaining something earlier i said that i gave us the formula as t1 then square root of what g1 it was what t2 and the square root of what g2 all right so we are we are to look for the ratio of t1 to what t2 therefore you say t1 
over t2 equals the square root of what g2 over the square root of what g1. Right? Because this times this you get this, then this times this you get what this. Let's take it. Now t1 over what t2 equals now from the question g2, this g1, this g2, g2 is what? Then, then g1 is what? 1 point what? 6. Alright, 1.6. The square root of 10, the square root of 10 should be uh, 6, is it 6 point? 3.16. Alright, let me just add 2 over. The square root of 1.6 should be 1.50. I don't know. That should be. Let me try it. The square root of uh, 1.6 equals 1.26. You say. T1 to T2 now is equals this divided by this. You have 3.162 divided by 1.26 equals 2.5 seconds. You say therefore that uh, the period is 2.5 seconds slower than the moon. Alright, you say the period is 2.5 seconds slower than the moon okay so 2.5 seconds is the answer what did they get they get yes that's what they say 2.5 times slower in the moon okay so take note of that it is very very important please please as you are watching subscribe man no verse now uh -huh. subscribe to my youtube channel okay mind to also all right, I just solved the, the fourth question now. So I'll solve the fifth one and you take the sixth one home as your assignment. All right, so I think this number, this number five, I'll read it orally. There's no need for me to write. As I'm, as I'm reading it, write down something and just bring out your parameters. Bring out your parameters. Now, let me read it. Let me drop some filter, please. And it said, A simple pendulum has a period of seven seconds, which means that T of God of Nazareth. I gave us a formula as T1 God. I gave us a formula as T1 over the square root of L1 equals t2 over the square root of what l2 don't forget this formula a simple pendulum has a period of seven which means that t1 is what seven over a simple pendulum has a period of seven okay which means and the length of this wasn't given so you say square root l equals when the length was shortened by one meter, when the length was shortened, the period is what six seconds. Okay, so which means that the which means that t two is what six seconds. Now this that this length was shortened by one. So you say l minus what one shortened shortened by what one. So it means that from here food is okay. Don't forget square roots. All right, square roots. So this times this, I'll have it to be what six roots l equals this times this. I'll have what seven square root of what l minus what one. Now for me to cancel out these two roots, which are idiots, I'll square both sides. I'll put two here. I'll put two here, such that two will cancel these two, and these two will also affect what I have here. So six root power two is what thirty six. And you have what L? So 36 what L? 2, we cancel out these 2 and will as well affect the 7. So 7 raised power 2 is what? 49. I will have 49. Open bracket L minus what? 1. Mm -hmm. L minus what? 1. Therefore, I have 3, 6L 
equals 49 that is 49 times l is what 49 l minus 49 times 1 is what 49 let's collect like terms so you have that you have 36 earlier you have 49 earlier so it means that this is just is crossing becomes and this one will come over becomes 49 equals 49 l minus initially it was plus right as long as the process becomes what minus 36 what l so 49 is equals what 13 l divide both sides by 13 so l now is equals 49 divided by 13 49 divided by 13 49 divided by 13 i'll have i'll have 3.77 meters approximately here i have 3.769 all right if we should approximate to two decimal places we'll be having 3.77 meters so that is what we've gotten as the answer okay All right, the last question, which is the sixth question, they said a clown is rocking on a rocking chair in the dark. His glowing red nose moves back and forth, back and forth, a distance of what? 0.42 meter. Don't forget, I have, I have this, and I have this, I have this all right so from here to here is what amplitude amplitude from here to here is what amplitude and of course this place is what the the equilibrium what equilibrium point okay and I said a clown is rocking on a chair in the dark his glowing red nose moves back and forth a distance of what 0.2 meter exactly 30 times in a minute in a simple harmonic motion. What is the amplitude of this motion? What is the amplitude of this motion? Now they gave us the distance to the what 0.4. 0.42. Now since it moves back and forth it means half it means okay this okay fourth okay back back and what fourth here it means you have half of you have 0 0.45 half of this we now have this which means uh we'll say 0 0.45 divided by 2 equals 0 which means that here is 0 point 225 and here is 0 0.225 all right so let's add it together you are going to be having 0 0.5 so the amplitude of this of this idiot is simply what that is this distance given which it used uh which it uses to move you divide it by two you now be having this and this let me check what they had here so they had what 0 0.21 0 0.21 which is very very close and that is what the answer okay and they said what is the period of this motion what is the period of this motion of course i do that period I that period is equals what two pi l over g all right i also told that period is equals what two pi over angular velocity i also told that period is equals what the time taken over what number of what oscillation over number of what oscillations now they said calculate for the period okay the period now is uh they said one minute so we are to convert to seconds okay so one times 60 you have what 60 you have 60 and they said 30 times so that which means that the period now is what two meter two seconds now they said 
exactly 30 times a minute a minute means one minute so we have to we have to solve in seconds and not in minutes so doing that we have to multiply by 60 and said one so 60 times one is what 60 how many oscillations 30 oscillation that is 30 now 60 divided by 30 you have what two seconds and that is what they are having here all right now they said what is the frequency of this motion what is the frequency of this motion now frequency is the inverse you say uh number of oscillation over what time number of oscillation over what time frequency now is equals number of oscillation is what 30 then time is what 60 this will go into this so it means that frequency is what 0 0.5 hertz it's as easy as that very cheap now they said i'll read it again a clown is rocking on a rocking chair in, a, in the dark his glowing red nose moves back and forth a distance of 0 0.42 meter exactly 30 times a minute in a simple harmonic motion 0 0.2 0 0.42 means half of 0 0.2 will be here with half of 0 0.45 will be here and half of it we the other half will be here so that is what the amplitude then what is the period of the motion the period i told you period is what time number of time that is time over what number of oscillations they give us a minute we have to convert the seconds and do that you say one times the minute given so you have we are giving one so one times 60 is this divided by number of oscillations which is what 30 you now have about two seconds the frequency is just like the opposite you now have n over what t all right so n is 30 and t is what 60 doing that you have about 0 0.5 yes please at this point you call it a day please make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel and please do well to share the link to your friends who are also in need of the various courses i'll be taking a b 111 bb 111 uh, um, physics 111 and physics 113 chem 111 and chem 113 please do well to share the link to your friends do have a wonderful night rest please subscribe